Now back to Old Trafford. A century against the Australians in 1981 and uh, 128 against India with Martin Lull bowling. You are being helped by that most enthusiastic of uh, runners between the wickets, David Gower. Yeah, David uh, unluckily got, unfortunately got the uh, short straw there. I'd been hit on the toe. I can't remember who did it, but it hit me straight on the end of the toe and I thought it shattered it and turned out it wasn't as badly bruised. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> an even better shot because he's placed it so well away from that man deliberately put out there for the lofted stroke the ball kept low shot of the day I think when we see that in slow motion it's something you can paste up on your wall or stick in your bag and carry around forever what a beautiful stroke this is. It's not really half volley, but look at that foot going right across and that beautiful follow through. So a new over from uh, Kapil Dev with both on facing. And hit uh, beautifully through mid on for four. to both of them. Oh, that's another glorious shot. Allowed it to come on. Picked his spot this time on the offside. And both of them facing on 27. That's a reverse sweep. Beautifully played. Quite remarkable the skill he's got now in playing this shot. Four runs all the way. And this astonishing stroke. This reverse sweep. Both of them on 38. And be a few more there. Short, hammered again through the offside. And both of them already into the 40s. And that's through again. Just that little bit short of a length, short enough on this easy pace wicket for uh, both of them to give it the uh, full power of that mighty bat. And we'll have a little bit more for my 50, he says, and that's short again. And crack through the offside. Another glorious 50 here to Ian both of It's come off only 46 balls, 10 fours in it. It's the 11th Test 50. And is six against India. <laughs> well, what a tremendous stroke. That's making up for all the delays. But he still has the problem of getting rid of uh, Ian Botham. He's trying to solve that at the moment by bringing on Madden Lull instead of Suru Nayak. That's a great shot. It wasn't all that short. That was a marvellous stroke. No wonder there's joy on the faces of those spectators. They're seeing some beautiful cricket here this morning from Ian Botham. Safe. Top edge, four. Signal comes from umpire Harold Bird that that's the one bouncer permitted. 
And this is the dangerous bouncer, which gets really a little bit too high to hook. You see there. And in fact, Ian Botham gets top edge. It went very, very fine, almost over the wicket. There it is, Botham's 100. What a great innings, one to match the knock he played here against Australia just 12 months ago. Well, he's gone for the big one and he's hit it many a mile, straight over the top. What a nice way to welcome the sole left arm bowler. A magnificent straight six right over the side screen. Gone to try and repeat it off Shastri. Uh, didn't quite pick it up, but uh, collected four more for it. See if that's a better one, he says. And indeed it is. Right into the crowd again. Six more. Shastri to both of them. Is he gone? Yes, quite see whether he was stumped there or bowled. So both of them go as the end of a magnificent innings and a disappointment. He's only a couple of runs away from a new uh, six wicket record against India. Well, first double century in mm. uh, Test match cricket in that same series, that was at the Oval.